We've all been there. You've got a collection of files that need to be synchronized with S3 compatible object storage, and you might be tempted to write your own tool for this, but there's a simpler solution, rclone. Now, rclone is a command line tool which can synchronize files with remote services. You can integrate virtually any cloud-based workflow, including Dropbox, FTP, Google Drive, HTTP, Nextcloud, WebDAV, S3 compatibles, and more. What's more, rclone provides us a Unix-style command that simplifies this process. Commands like cp, mv, mount, ls, tree, rm, cat, and more, all function with cloud-based storage solutions. For our purposes, we'll use rclone to synchronize our files to our bucket. Before we get into the guide, I want to address a common question. What's the difference between rclone and rsync? It's pretty simple. rsync, while a popular and robust tool for synchronizing files, is generally suited for local network synchronization and doesn't have built-in cloud service capabilities. rclone, on the other hand, is better suited for cloud connectivity. So let's get into the tutorial. The first thing you'll want to do is install rclone. Let's open a terminal and run the command curl https colon slash slash rclone.org slash install dot sh pipe sudo bash. This will install rclone and allow us to proceed. Next, we'll need to create our S3 bucket, if we haven't already, and generate our keys. First, log into the cloud dashboard, click the object store on the left, and then create bucket. Give it a label and select a region that it should live in. Keep in mind that the label must be unique to the region that it lives in compared to other users' buckets. Now select the access keys tab and click create access keys. Give your keys a label and provide the appropriate permissions for your bucket. Generally, you'll want to provide the minimum necessary permissions for the keys you're creating. In this instance, our clone needs read and write permissions for the buckets we intend it to access. Now, back in our terminal, let's run the command rclone config. When prompted, create a new remote by typing n. Provide a label for this configuration. Next, select your cloud storage service. For our purposes, we'll select AWS S3 compliant storage provider, followed by any other S3 compatible provider. Now, we'll supply our access key credentials. For access key ID, paste or type in the access key. Then, for the secret access key, copy and paste the secret key field. Now leave region blank. The endpoint should be the address of your Linode bucket. For instance, my-demo-bucket.us-southeast1.linodeobject.com. Leave location constraint blank. Select the ACL you want to use. If this is a personal bucket, type 1 for private. If this is a team bucket, you can use the public read 2 or authentication read 4. Hit enter to opt out of editing the advanced config file. And there you go. Verify the configuration. And if it's correct, type Y to save your options and then Q to quit the configuration tool. Now that we're set up, we can sync our local directories to the remote. For this demonstration, we've named our remote remote and we've named our bucket test, but you'll need to replace these with your own configuration details. Here, I've prepared a few sample files in my documents folder at documents slash rclone examples by running the command on screen. It's a heck of a command. All right, now let's run the command rclone make dir remote colon test. When we refresh our bucket, we can see a directory named test was created. Now let's run the command rclone sync home slash documents slash rclone examples remote colon test. This will synchronize all of the files between our origin and destination directories with the first operand being used as an authority. But let's say that we want the files from the source copied to the destination, but not have the files synchronized. That's where the copy command comes in. Our clone copy documents remote colon test. There are other commands that you can use as well. And if you want our clone to run periodically to keep things synchronized, you can configure an R clone command to run at regular intervals using cron or as a system D process. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you use the links below to learn more about R clone and the ways that you can incorporate it into your enterprise workflow. Make sure that you get subscribed to see more videos just like this one. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.